But first, a community grieves the loss of a young boy. Good evening, I'm Katie Houston. Mark is off tonight. Eight-year-old Colton Furrow was on spring break when he was hit and killed in West Liberty last week. Today, classmates returned to school for the first time without him. In our top story at 5.30, Rob Sneed explains the process of healing now underway. Well, it's been a tough day here for the students and staff at West Liberty Salem Schools. They tell me right now they're just coming together to grieve. Just never know when something like this is going to come along and uh, change your life forever. These halls are empty, just as the hearts of the students and staff at West Liberty Salem School since hearing about eight-year-old Colton Foro's death last week. Our community pulls together very quickly uh, to support one another. A support system that Superintendent Craig Hisson says they need right now more than ever. And grief counselors and pastors are all over the campus helping students cope. It's been difficult this morning. I think, uh, you know, I think a lot of people have come in and are handling it very professionally. Guidance counselor Matt Westfall tells me he's seen a lot of tears today, but says counselors have specific grieving techniques that cater to each child's needs. With this case being a second grader, we told funny stories about him. Uh, we did a few things in the classroom to kind of honor him this morning. This father of two tells me he plans on honoring Colton at his funeral tomorrow. He says what happened to Colton reminds him just how blessed he is to be able to tuck his children in at night. You definitely uh, give your kid a good extra hug uh, when you get home and talk to him because uh, Pretty, pretty tragic. Very thankful for what we have. Reporting in West Liberty, Rob Sneed, 2 News. And another visitation for Colton is being held right now and will last until 8 o'clock tonight. A funeral will be held at the First Church of God in Bell Fountain tomorrow morning at 10.